Hi, it's Jason from Soundtrack Loops, and I'm really excited to tell you about this piece of equipment by 1010 Music. It's called Black Box, and they're showing at Synthplex this weekend in Burbank, um, and I'll be there, and I'm really excited to talk about it because this is a wicked new uh, little mini sampling studio, and unlike a lot of their other pieces of kit, um, this is a desktop unit, whereas everything else is sort of usually a Eurorack module. Uh, so it's got an SD, micro SD, right here for storing your information. You've got the uh, powered, it's USB powered, so that's here. And um, touch screen, it's just a really cool box. And it comes bundled with hundreds of our sounds. So. I hand curated uh, roughly 50 presets, about 800 samples for this bad boy. And uh, that's why I'm here, because I want to show you guys what this thing is all about. So let's have a look. All right, so here is the 1010 Music Black Box Sampling Studio. It comes with a couple MIDI adapters. It's USB powered. It also comes with a wall wart with all your different adapters for that. And everything stores to a little micro SD card, which is a beautiful thing because it supports the uh, really high capacity new SD cards. The workflow is quite simple. It has sort of a left to right workflow here. You start with pads, keys, sequences, song, effects, mix, presets, and tools. Now the info button, you can hit that and tap that a couple times and that'll dive you through the different menus and submenus. Here's a taste of uh, one of our presets. So let's have a look at the ins and outs on this bad boy. Let's have a look at the back panel. We're looking at a real low profile unit and really solid heavy build. It's a really nice little desktop box. You can see you've got your USB power and device input, clock in out, MIDI in out, audio in, and three stereo outputs and headphones. That input is stereo as well. So let's fire it back up and plug something into the input here so I can show you a little bit of the uh, sampling workflow. So I set up a blank preset. Let's load that and that gives us empty pads. And then you hit info and that'll bring you to the sample screen. And this is where we're going to record our samples. Okay. So here you can set a custom length for uh, the sample. If you want to record an exact loop uh, set to a certain number of bars. And then this is your record threshold. This is when the device will start sampling. And here you can choose your inputs, stereo or left and right. Okay, and you'll get a little count in. Okay, now once you have your audio sampled, you can go into the settings and select sample, which is like a one shot. And it kind of re-triggers the sample when you uh, tap it and it plays it all the way out. So you can go in, hit info, and you can adjust the uh, polyphony. you got all these different outputs that you can assign it to. And effects and ADSR. All right, we can change the launch mode under the screen. You've got trigger, gate, and toggle. Okay, we'll go to gate. And you've got your level, pitch, and filter. Pretty nice. Okay, hit info again and attack, sustain, decay, release. And now it's not layering over itself because we adjusted the polyphony to mono. And here you can go to clip mode and you can use that for loops. 
and it time stretches, and then there's a slice mode. And now this, you can scan the file and automatically drop slices in at the transients and split the audio up so that when you go to keys, for example, you can play the different slices on the keyboard. So I'm gonna have to transpose this down a bit to find the rest of the audio. There's a kick. Okay, kick and snare. Sliced up, ready to go. Simple enough. All right, so let's move on to sequences mode. Now here you can sequence a pattern. It's set to loop at what, four counts, so it's a pretty short loop. Um, then we could go in and sample another sound on a different pad. All right, so there's our new sample, and that's looping. Uh, that's in, let's see, you hit info, and you can see where that's set to clip mode. Okay, that's why it's looping, and you can time stretch from there and play on the keyboard. Uh, so if we have a look at the, uh, the MIDI piano roll here, the MIDI information for that sequence. Pretty handy little sequencer editor there for the piano roll. You can cut, copy, paste, clear. You got your pad mode and your piano roll, the keys, piano roll. Uh, so, and then for keys, you got your step length, step count, duty cycle, and MIDI. The step length goes up to 164th and 64th notes. Uh, step count goes all the way up to, I believe, 128. So you get 128 steps for this sequence. Um, 128 steps, boom. That's pretty badass. And uh, so that's a nice long sequence there. Uh, we'll dial it back, keep it simple. You got different MIDI channels here, real nice. You can send that information out to the other MIDI channels and your quantized size. Okay, and it goes all the way up to 64th notes. Song, okay, so in song, you basically just record the sequences into sections okay it's real easy you just add a section and then if you want you hit sequence and highlight the sequences you want to be in that section just record play and then you can just hit stop right away and it basically grabbed those sequences and recorded them placed them in that section so over here you've got effects delay and reverb different delay and reverb parameters for that pretty cool uh, I have to route something over to this in order for us to hear that so let me do that real quick for you delay out effects one so there's a typical delay effect and over here we have the mixer so you can just select the cell and adjust the volume and the panning and there we can load our presets and then we hit tools over here brightness headphone volume record to play midi pc off on metronome lead in nice little compressor built in global midi brightness So let's go ahead and load a loop kit. Brazilian Lounge 2. All right, so if you hit play and then tap on the loops in the cells. And you can do real time. Time stretching with black box, so if I went and changed the tempo, the loops would stay the same pitch. Alright, so that's pretty much black box in a nutshell. 
hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, if you did please subscribe to our channel we're trying to get more subscribers here on our YouTube channel and uh, you'll find links to all the companies mentioned 1010 Music and Soundtrack Loops in the description below.